Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out Dollar Tree cleaning products and supplies and we're going to see if you can actually only spend a dollar and get a cleaning product that actually works. So I've got two bags from the Dollar Tree that are very full of cleaning products and supplies. About a week and a half ago, I went to the Dollar Tree and I went shopping through all of their cleaning supplies and products. Now I have bought cleaning supplies there before, but only like dusters or scrubbies or cleaning gloves. I've never bought actual cleaning products from the Dollar Tree like dusting spray, dish soap, carpet cleaner, different stuff like that. They actually have a huge selection of cleaning products from the Dollar Tree. So I tried to gather a good variety of everything. I didn't buy every single cleaning product and supply that they have, but I did buy a good amount. Like I said, I just tried to get a good variety to try out for you guys. I'm going to go through all of these bags, show you guys everything that I bought, and then after that I will try out all of the products and I'll do a voiceover while I'm trying trying out the products just to tell you guys what I thought of them, if they actually worked or if they didn't, if I would recommend them or not. Now me personally, I probably wouldn't use Dollar Tree cleaning products in my home. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I like to use natural cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. But like I said, I do like to use their scrubbers and their sponges and their cleaning gloves, stuff like that. But when it comes to like actual liquid that you spray in your house, for only a dollar, I'm sure the stuff that they put in these cleaning products can't be that healthy for you, but who knows. The first thing that I got was a furniture polish and this is in the lemon scent. All of the Dollar Tree cleaning products are the brand The Home Store. Next product that I got is the Heavy Duty Oven Cleaner. I'm really excited to try this one because my oven really needs clean. This next one is the Foaming Super Oxygen Bathroom Cleaner. It sprays blue and it turns to white and I've heard some YouTubers talk about this one so I'm excited to try this one as well. Next up we have the Heavy Foam Shower Cleaner. Next I will be trying some of their dish soap. This is in the Fresh Apple scent. And then I've got some of their glass cleaner. And I've got the heavy traffic carpet cleaner foam and I got this to try just because it looked kind of interesting it's called LA's totally awesome all-purpose concentrated cleaner it's a degreaser and a spot remover so just interested to try this out on some spots next up we've got some cleaning wipes so first off we have some window wipes I'm interested to try these I've never tried any type of window wipes before and then I got some of their furniture wipes as well so I've got a couple different types of scrubbers and sponges and I usually do get some of this stuff at the Dollar Tree anyway so first off we just have this regular scrub brush. This is just great for cleaning showers. And then I got this two pack of scouring sponges. These are great for washing dishes. So I also got a package of these non-stick scrubbers. These are great to have in your kitchen. I had to grab one of these soap dispensing brushes because I've never seen them there before. And I paid like almost $5 for one of these from Walmart a while ago. So if this one works, that would be awesome. I grabbed one of their microfiber dusters. We'll take this out of the plastic here. So, whoa. <laughs> I'm just cracking up at this thing because it is hilarious looking. It was all squished down, all small in this packaging, and then you take off the packaging and it's like, poof. It's just like a giant head of hair or something. They always have tons of these microfiber cloths at the Dollar Tree, so I had to grab some of those. Okay, so the last thing that I got is probably my favorite. This is called a sink it plunger. So it's basically a tiny plunger for your sink. And you know when your kitchen sink gets clogged, you don't wanna have to go and get the giant plunger from the bathroom to use on your sink. So you can just keep this tiny plunger under your sink to use. Now, I'm not going to be able to try this out today because I don't currently have a clogged sink, but hopefully it will work when I do have a clogged sink. And here's a little bit of a closer look at this. That is all of the cleaning supplies and products that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now we are going to go and try them all out and see if they actually work. And I also wanted to say that this pullover that I'm wearing today is so comfy. I just don't want to take it off. It's so fuzzy and soft on the outside and the inside. I'll be sure and link it down below. It's got pockets and a hood. It's got a little half zip here, drawstrings on the hood. Super comfy and super cute. I'll have it linked down below. And I want you guys to let me know down in the comments if you have used Dollar Tree cleaning products before and which ones are your favorite or if you hated them. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear. First, we're going to be trying out this heavy traffic carpet cleaner foam. So I just sprayed that onto the carpet and this stuff sprays everywhere. Just a warning, it even sprayed up on the fireplace there. I probably wasn't quite doing it right, but I just sprayed it here where our carpet gets the most traffic. And then once it dries, then you can vacuum it up. And the pros of this is that it actually did work. My carpet usually does not get this fluffy when I vacuum it. So it did work for that, but this stuff stank so bad. It reminded me of bug spray and I literally felt a little bit lightheaded after I sprayed this on the floor. So for that reason, I probably won't be using it again, but it did work. Next, I tried out the microfiber cleaning cloth and the furniture polish in the lemon scent, and I honestly don't have any complaints about this. I think that it cleaned the furniture just as good as the other furniture polish that I have, and thankfully, this one did not stink. 
Next, I tried the furniture wipes, and I don't have any complaints about these either. They worked great. I definitely give them a thumbs up. Then I tried their window wipes and I definitely give these a thumbs up as well. They worked great. It was super easy to clean the glass. Unlike their glass cleaner in the spray bottle, I was not impressed with this stuff. I definitely think that Windex and Method Glass and Surface Cleaner, all of those glass cleaners definitely work a lot better than this one. I wouldn't bother getting it. So now I'm going to give this LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner a try and it says that you can use this on coffee stains so I'm going to give it a try on this coffee stain that I have here on my white rug. I've just been covering it up with a basket. It really isn't that bad but it's still noticeable and this stuff actually worked at getting the coffee out of my rug so I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this cleaner. And this big fluffy duster, I was just not impressed with it. It's very low quality. I like the duster that I already have a lot better. This foaming super oxygen bathroom cleaner sprays on blue and then once it turns white you can wipe it off and scrub the sink and honestly I really wasn't that impressed with it. I mean it did a half decent job but it didn't do any better job than the cleaners that I already have. I went and got some of those scrubbers that I got from the Dollar Tree and used that to try to scrub the bottom of the sink. Next I tried the shower cleaner and it did not work at all. I sprayed it on, scrubbed, rinsed it off, and I didn't notice any difference from before I had sprayed it on to afterwards, so I give this one a definite thumbs down. I conveniently had a sink full of dishes, so that was perfect to try out all of these products on. So I'm trying out the dish soap, the non-stick scrubbers, and then the scrubber with the handle. The scrubber with the handle worked just as good as the one that I paid a couple dollars for at Walmart, so I definitely give this one a thumbs up. These are so awesome to have when you're washing dishes. The non-stick scrubbers work great as well. I have used these before from the Dollar Tree, and also the Dollar Tree stainless steel scrubbers work really great as well. And this dish soap, it did a good job being that it was only a dollar but I did notice that it did not clean grease quite as good as my Miss Myers dish soap. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more Dollar Tree videos in the future. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. It's very easy. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button, click the bell beside of it to turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.